you support a Premier League team, you will want to listen up. All 20 of them involved this weekend. Let's bring you the team news. We start at St James's Park. Newcastle's Lewis Hall hasn't trained, so here's a doubt for their early kickoff against Tottenham. Eddie Howe hoping Tino Livramento will be available. Richarlison scored twice against Newcastle in December, but he will miss this game with a knee injury that kept him out of last weekend. He should return, though, to the North London derby. Right, let's head south. To West London, Brentford will have Kevin Sharda and Ethan Pinnock back in their squad for the game against Sheffield United. Thomas Frank has no new injury concerns. Sheffield United, though, face a nervous weight on Jack Robertson after he suffered a setback in his recovery from an ankle injury. Back up north we go to Turf Moor. Burnley manager Vincent Company will serve a touchline ban against Brighton, but James Trafford has recovered from illness. Roberto De Zerbi has all of nine players out, with Tarrant Lamptey added to those missing following their defeats to Arsenal last week. We stay in the northwest at the Etihad Stadium. Pep Guardiola keeping his cards close to his chest regarding injuries. He said there's no guarantee the keeper Edison will start against Luton Town. He wouldn't know until later about Carl Walker or Phil Foden's availability. Matt Anderson, Gabriel Osho remain part of Luton's extensive injury list. Issa Bore will be unavailable for selection against his parent club. Another of the 3pm games, Nuno Espirito Santo says Morgan Gibbs-White is a doubt for Wolves after being forced off against Tottenham. Uh, Wolves will welcome back Hichan Huang against Forrest. It says Cunha Craig Dawson also fit, but probably too soon for jean luc Bellegarde. To the Saturday Night Football at the Vitality Stadium, Bournemouth have suffered setbacks with both Antoine Semenya and Marcus Tavernier out. Manchester United will be without Rafa Varane due to a muscle injury and Johnny Evans also remains on the sidelines. Uh, to the first part of Super Sunday at Anfield, no new injury concerns for Liverpool. Thankfully for Jurgen Klopp, Trent Alexander-Arnold could start after making the bench uh, for their defeat to Atalanta in the Europa League. Uh, Palace's Jaro Wideralt is fit for the first time since February. Uh, Marco Elise pushing to start after returning off the bench last weekend. Mark Gay will return soon, but not for this one. Uh, for the first time this season, Marco Silva says he's got a fully fit squad. That's for Fulham, but for West Ham, a big blow. They'll be without their top scorer, Jared Bowen. Uh, David Moyes didn't elaborate on the severity of the injury. Alphonse Ariola and Calvin Phillips also doubts. Super Sunday Park 2 comes to you from the Emirates Stadium. No injury concerns for Arsenal, including Gabriel Jesus, although he is playing through pain. Uh, Nicola Tessa says that's really quite normal. But Aston Villa, Douglas Ruiz serving a two-match suspension after 10 bookings. And finally, Monday night football at Stamford Bridge. Problems for Chelsea. Enzo Fernandez, Axel Dezazi now on their injury list. Raheem Sterling missed training due to illness, but Ben Chilwell has at least returned. Cole Palmer also fine, despite being taken off against Sheffield United. And as for Everton, they welcome back Amadou Anana and Anna Danjuma after their recent injury issues. But Dominic Calvert-Lewin will be a late call after another hamstring problem.